If we examine carefully the green parts of different plant, then we shall find that the intensity of green color is not uniform everywhere. Okay? In some parts we will find it is deep green, in some parts it is light green. There are so many shades of green in the leaves of different plants. So now we have to carefully understand this why there are so many sets of greens in their leaves in plants. It is because that the green color which you see in green leaves is not due to one single pigment. It is due to four pigments of different colors. Number one is chlorophyll A. It is bright or blue green in color. Bright or blue green. Number two is chlorophyll B. It is yellow green in color. Number three is janthophylls. It is yellow in color. And number four is carotenoids. And it is yellow to yellow orange in color. So, the color which you see is actually the combination of these four pigments in the leaves. That's why different type of green sets are found in the leaves and the green color is not uniform. It is one ununiform green colors. You can separate these green pigments in the leaves using paper chromatography and in the chromatogram, these different type of colors will be shown by these different type of pigments. Let us now see what roles these various pigments play in photosynthesis and also their structures. Let us start with chlorophyll A molecule. So we are going to study about the structure of chlorophyll A molecule. Okay? Chlorophyll A molecule will look like a little bit like this. It has one head part and one tail part. Okay? And this tail part is actually one phytal chain. Okay, this is one phytal chain. Look at this structure. This is the structure of one phytal chain. This is phytal. And this acts as the tail part of chlorophyll A molecule. And in the head part, you will have two parts. There is one chlorine ring. Some side chains attached with this chlorine ring. So these are basically the three parts of one chlorophyll A molecule. And this head part, it has propolarity. It is polar one. So this is polar part. This is polar part. And this tail part, if you look at the structures, this is basically made up of hydrocarbons. So this is non-polar part. Okay, now what is this chlorine ring actually? This chlorine ring is actually one partially hydrogenated version of porphyrin ring. This is one partially hydrogenated version of porphyrin ring. Okay, porphyrin ring. Look at this structure. This is the structure of porphyrin ring. This is porphyrin. And what you can see here? Here this one, two, three, four, four pyral ring is attached with these bridges. This CH double bond and single bond. This methane bridges, they are attached. This is the structure of one pyral ring. So, four pyrrole ring is attached, they are a little bit modified, okay? In the porphyrin, four modified pyrrole ring is attached with methane bridges. So, in porphyrin, what is there? Four modified pyrrole are linked at their alpha. Carbon. You can see everywhere they are linked with.
this, if this is the NH group, then this is the alpha carbon, they are linked with their alpha carbon and their alpha carbon with methane bridge, okay? Methane bridge. Methane bridge means this is methane bridge. This bridge. So this is power 5 in. So now what will be the chlorophyll structure? It is just one partially hydrogenated structure of this porphyrin ring. This is porphyrin. In this four number pyrrole group, if you just substitute this double bond with hydrogen, this will then become one chlorine ring. Now this structure, which you can see, this is no more one porphyrin. This is right now chlorine ring. Okay? So, if there is one double bond, it will be porphyrin and if there is no double bond, then these structures will be chlorine ring and this chlorine ring is present in chlorophyll A molecule and you, and you all know, inside this chlorine ring, there will be one magnesium ion attached, okay? One magnesium ion will be closed within this chlorine ring. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Now, you can see this is the complete structure of chlorophyll A molecule and you can see the two parts. This is the head part, okay? This is the head part and this is the tail part. You can distinguish these two parts. And in this head part, you can see that this magnesium ion, it is enclosed by these four nitrogen atoms from four different pyrrole groups. And this ring, this ring is actually Chlorine ring, okay. And what is chlorine ring? I have told you earlier. It is just one hydrogenated version of porphyrin ring. Look at this structure. This is porphyrin ring. And compare this with this structure. Here, in chlorophyll, this has substituted here with one methyl and hydrogen. And this is substituted with one side chain, small side chain. This side chain is attached with the phytal tail, okay. You all know the molecular formula of chlorophyll A molecule. Chlorophyll A, it is C55H72. C55H72O5N4Mg. Okay, this is the molecular formula of chlorophyll A molecule. And you can see in this head part, in this chlorine ring or the modified porphyrin ring. There is four heterocyclic modified pyro ring and this ring which is attached with this phytal tail is conventionally numbered as four. Among the four rings, the ring which is attached to this phytal tail is numbered as four and there will be one clockwise numbering. So obviously this will be number one, this will be number two ring and this is number three ring. Okay, and in case of carbon numbering, obviously carbon numbering will be started from ring number one and this carbon is taken as number one carbon, okay, and there will be also one clockwise numbering, so this will be two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20, okay? There is total 20 carbons in this chlorine or modified porphyrin rings and in this C17 position, this phytal tail is attached. So this phytal tail, okay? This phytal tail, this is in C17 position, okay? This is in C17 position. Phytal tail is attached with the porphyrin ring or with the chlorine ring in C17 position. And there are several side chains. This is one side chain which is attached in C3 position. There is one in C7, in C12, and several others. Okay. Not this position, this methyl group in the C7 position. This is the position in which chlorophyll A molecule differs with chlorophyll B molecule, okay? In this C7 position in chlorophyll A, there is methyl group, but in case of chlorophyll B, the structure will be 
as it is, but there will be only one aldehyde group. Now uh, look at this structure, uh, look at this C7 position, in this C7 position, if you just substitute this methyl group with one aldehyde group, okay, with one aldehyde group, then it will be chlorophyll B. So what will be chlorophyll B? Chlorophyll B molecule. This chlorophyll B molecule will be like this. Chlorophyll A as it is. Just this methyl group will be substituted with one aldehyde group. Okay. The chlorophyll A molecule minus at C7 position. Okay. At C7 position minus this methyl group plus this aldehyde group. This will be chlorophyll B. Okay. This will be chlorophyll B. Then what will be the molecular formula of chlorophyll B? What will be the molecular formula? Chlorophyll A's molecular formula was C55 H72O5 N4. Mg. It was for chlorophyll A. Okay. Now see what will be the change in the molecular formula. Here one C is being removed and another one C is being added. So C will not be changed. In case of hydrogen, three hydrogen is being removed and one hydrogen is added. That means two hydrogen will be less. Okay. It will be H17. In case of oxygen, one new oxygen molecule is being added. So, the oxygen number will be 6. This is chlorophyll B molecules chemical formula C55, H70O6, and for Mg. Okay, this is for chlorophyll B. Another one interesting thing if you just uh, remove this magnesium ion of chlorophyll A, suppose this is chlorophyll A. Just remove this magnesium ion from chlorophyll A. So chlorophyll, chlorophyll A minus magnesium. Then the structure will look like this. Okay, it will look like this. There will be one hydrogen. There will be one hydrogen. This chlorophyll A molecule minus magnesium. It will be pure phytin. Pure phytin. What is this phytin actually? This is one electron carrier in for system 2. Okay, this is one electron carrier in photosystem 2, PS2. Now look at this chlorophyll molecule. This head part, I have told you earlier that this is polar part. Polar part means this will be hydro. Philic, okay, and this tail part, this vital chain, this is non polar, means this will be hydrophobic, okay. And we all know that chlorophyll A molecule or any chlorophyll molecule is present on the membrane of thylakoid. So, like all other cellular membrane, the membrane of thylakoid will be also made up of lipids. The membrane of thylakoids will be made up of lipids and some proteins, okay, like this. This lipid portions, suppose these are the lipid portions and this is protein portion. This lipid portion is hydrophobic, okay. This is lipid and this lipid is hydrophobic. So this phytal chain, this tail part, this phytal will help chlorophyll to be anchored in this thylakoid membrane to other hydrophobic molecules of this thylakoid membrane. So chlorophyll molecule will be like in this. The tail part will be embedded inside the membrane and the head part will be just on the uh, membrane. Okay? So that it can absorb lights. This phytal chain, this phytal chain, when it is detached from chlorophyll, okay? This phytal chain, when it is within chlorophyll, then it will not move. When it is detached from chlorophyll, it can be used, it can be used as precursor of 
vitamin K and vitamin E1. Okay, this cycle chain also can be used as the precursor of vitamin K and vitamin E1. So this is the detailed structure of chlorophyll A molecule. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.